Payson. What's up, history makers? We were so worried because there was no one in this room, and we were like, does Anime Central not like Yuri on Ice? <laughs> That's weird. We thought it was more popular than Yeah. That. Just a little bit, at least. Smidge. Yeah. So, hi. Uh, why don't we introduce ourselves? Uh, let's start by saying who you voiced in Yuri on Ice and your favorite Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Josh Greeley. I'm the voice of Yuri Kotsky for Yuri on Ice. And my favorite Nicolas Cage movie is Face Off. Oh, that one, I've heard of that one. Uh, hi, my name is not Josh Greeley. Um, I'm Micah Solusad, and I voice the angry Yuri, the better one. Um, uh, Yuri Plisetsky, and my favorite uh, Nicolas Cage movie is National Treasure, yeah! which I frequently uh, say National Treasurer sometimes, uh, which is a which is a completely different movie. Very boring one, really. It's just about a treasurer <laughs> of the national sort, yeah, of the national variety. He doesn't know which nation he's from. Uh, my name is Jerry Duell, and I uh, voice uh, Victor Nikiforov. Uh, <laughs> Calm down. He's so good. Um, and my favorite Nicolas Cage movie is Con Air. <laughs> Man. But you win. Dude, no, that was like. That was, that was buff. And like L'Oreal hair, <laughs> and like completely unbelievable accent. Yes. Yeah, 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 completely. That's why it's my favorite. I believed him more in The Rock. I believed that he was. I he was I would believe a rock doing that <laughs> accent over Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Touche. Touche. So you guys want to take some questions? We could do any. Do we have any rules for this panel? I have a question. Yeah. The first time some of you heard History Maker, were were you wondering why you should believe in Joseph? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody? Because I did. I wondered. I was like, who's Joseph and why should I believe in him? But it turns out. He's a trustworthy guy. guy. Yeah, Joseph's not a bad guy. Yeah. But... Joe to his friends. Yeah. And see, like, people are out there going, he, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> That completely sounds Joseph like yourself. No, it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> sound like yourself. Oh, you didn't like Joseph. Not at all. Oh. <laughs> oh. You went some, you lose some. So yeah, I, kept, I, I kept getting so many misheard lyrics from that. <laughs> <laughs> some I can't repeat here. Yeah, no, actually, no. most I can't repeat here. <laughs> but they're quality indeed. But they are quality. We're naked half men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. End of episode one. I mean, for a while on, uh, because uh, Johnny Weir was live tweeting. Yeah. Yuri on Ice. So, like, I guess he's, uh, he's, what, a. Uh, well, I mean, he, NBC? yeah, MSNBC sports correspondent. He was yes. also a uh, Olympic gold medalist. And so, since, like, his account is. Oh, he wasn't Olympic. No. He oh, he wasn't a gold medalist. Oh. No. He was still he's amazing. still amazing. And fabulous, yeah. let's be honest. And since his account is linked to that, as he's live tweeting Yuri on Ice for a while on the MSNBC's mm -hmm. Twitter account, Naked Victor's Butt, <laughs> was right there, Just, all to see. Is this real live? <laughs> oh my gosh. Good times. Remember those days? This show crossed a lot of boundaries when it first was hitting like yep. when it first like like I mean the first couple of weeks it was a little slow and like people were really just kind of like figuring out what it was because I mean there was no source material for anything it just kind of came out of nowhere and I mean most of us were just going off of before we even knew we were cast in it like those of us that had heard of it had only seen like the, the 45 second long little preview trailer that they made and just on first impressions I was like okay a it's gorgeous yes it's obviously a sports show. It looks really cool. I think like can't really tell what the story's going to be about. But my first impression was, oh, it's free. They just froze the water. <laughs> but obviously, I was partially right. But partially, other than that, it was completely off the mark, and it was yeah. just really surprising. Just this really 
intelligently, very incredibly, passionately well-written show, kind of a love story both uh, from the creators to the world of ice skating. Yes. But also uh, just about the pursuit of perfection in art and, 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 and all the struggles that Yuri goes through and also just a really great story about two men in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 At least it might have been that. It might have been that. <laughs> or just a really good friendship that helps them, a very loving friendship that helps them both out. Extremely loving friendship. <laughs> that helps them both out and makes them stronger. Yes. It was but very vulnerable. It was very vulnerable. And I think that's, that's the thing, like, how, I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys were able to relate with at least one character in the show because of how human they were. Makaji. <laughs> because he's a human. Stupid dog, don't eat plastic. <laughs> oh, come on, he shouldn't have done that. He, he ruined it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Stressing Yuri out. Maybe don't leave them where the dog can get them so easily. It's true. Stupid. Owner responsibility. <laughs> and now you know. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> So do you guys have any questions for us? Just by to start off, yeah. I saw Victor's hand go up real quick. <laughs> what do you want, old man? <laughs> What's up, Bay? How difficult was it, Jerry? <laughs> well, pl playing Victor, I after the first episode, I knew that I was I might have to pull off more than just the accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so go on. So the words were not so bad. Uh, I was more worried about what might go into his mouth. <laughs> What about you, Michael? Oh, is the panel still going? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of checked. Uh, well, as you can see, I am uh, I'm not Russian. <laughs> what? So to do anything. You lied to me? <laughs> I didn't think you took it seriously. Uh, so I had to, like, learn things, like accents. <laughs> Maybe in another universe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to use a I use a dialect coach to help me with the accent. Uh, she she actually threw in some nice Russian phrases for us to use that her family uses. Uh, in the uh, in, in the subtitles, when uh, Plisetsky meets what's her name, the, um, the Russian ballerina. Oh, the older the one that teaches her. Yeah, yeah. I, I just know her as Vedma. Um, <laughs> I asked her, is there, in the, in the sub, they, they said that they called her a hag, and I was like, is there a, a Russian word for hag that we could use? And she's like, no, but you could call her a witch. And I'm like, so Vietma is witch in Russian, and I thought, that's perfect, it fits the flaps too. Um, so like little things, or like uh, for Kotsky's birthday, she said, uh, my family, like they pronounce birthday first day. And so just like little things like that to make it sound a little more authentic, but uh, just a lot of learning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> boop, 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 who goes no? <laughs> so close, dancing right around it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> Thank you for your question. Pick somebody. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Hi. <gasps> I just realized who you were. <laughs> Because you're not like bawling your eyes out. <laughs> you don't have the, the girlfriend breakup makeup. <laughs> okay, um, how much collaboration is there between these American and Japanese like producers, directors, during um, voice acting? And also, um, what are your 
Um, I Jerry, oh, well, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> you would probably know. What would I know? I feel like, well, because you, you direct and stuff, so like, I've directed how, stuff. Like, so like, yeah. how, how, how often would you say there's, like, like is the collaboration between... Almost never. Yeah. Uh, which is probably unfortunate, really. I, I think we would, we would like to work with people more closely most of the time, just to make sure that we don't get things wrong and have to redo them again, because uh, we don't like doing work more than once. Um, let's be honest, we really aren't fond of doing it the first time. <laughs> but but uh, I, I wish there were more collaboration, just so we could you know, know that we're getting everything that they wanted to be in the right, show, in right, the show. Because right. I feel like that's kind of the job, if, if we're dubbing something that is, you know, already a complete show in and of itself, is we should at least do our best to be accurate. Right. Yeah. If we can. Mm -hmm. And it seems like we were. I know Sonny, during the directing process, was, uh, I mean, he personally wasn't in contact with any of the Japanese producers, but we did have people from marketing and licensing and stuff that were in contact. So if we ever had a major issue or a major question or was like, hey, guys, we need this information, it was... Sometimes we were able to get it in a timely manner, other times not, but we did have that lifeline available if, if, if we needed. For the most part, uh, we have, I feel like our in-house translation team, uh, they're pretty solid, does a pretty fantastic job. And they are in constant contact when they're doing stuff with the Japanese to make sure that what they're doing is correct. So I feel like the majority of that quality control is handled during the translation process. And then it's up to us to, like the our script writers and everybody else, to just make sure that it, whatever is important information stays there and we're portraying the characters accurately. So. There you go. And you said one of our favorite skater songs? Yeah, like skate songs. Mm -hmm. I love Me Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's quite good. Uh, Yuri on Ice is just beautiful. Like watching, watching a pianist play that is pretty on point. But I really, I really like Still Alive. Yeah, it's a really sweet one. <coughs> I don't know the names of things. <laughs> I like the one where the uh, really awesome skating is happening. <laughs> you know the one. It's animated beautiful. <laughs> Kuseskis is what you're saying. All of them. Some of his, <laughs> some of his real <laughs> Let's face it, Kotsky had the best one. Yuri on Ice is. It was pretty it's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And then in the I know at the at the Olympics this year they skated to the song that Paris yeah. 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 Wow. That's like it was beautiful. Fun. I mean obviously they're not doing his routine, they're doing right. their own routine or whatever, but just the fact that they used it and went with it was amazing. Uh, Whoever thought they would see a crossing of anime and figure skating and the Olympics. And the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that one coming. Nope. Yeah. If you would ask anyone even two, three years ago. Do you think nope. this will ever happen? They'd go, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> you pick. Uh, yes. My question is for you. Oh, um, no. So in all of the promotional materials, we have like Yuri and Victor on dates, and then Yuri and Yuri in the middle or behind them. How do you think he feels about this? Like, why do you think he's there? <laughs> I like to think that he's a victim of circumstance. <laughs> and he's really just disgusted by all of it. I mean, let's just face it, it's pretty gross. But what do I know? I'm not the creator. Does he have any words to Yuri and Victor then, who drives him Disgusting. <laughs> and he wonders why he's not invited to the wedding. <laughs> He doesn't have a P.O. box? <laughs> what? 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 Well, Setsuki would not be his best man. Not at this point. It's Makachi. <laughs> yeah. It's Makachi. <laughs> Peachy would make a more logical best man for Yuri than Setsuki. <laughs> oh, we're going to get into fan fiction territory soon. <laughs> Somebody over here had their hand up a second ago. Who was it? Who had a question? Don't you who back had, away. Who has a hand over there? Yeah. Who has hands? Yes, you. <laughs> you have a question? I was going to ask, what's your favorite scene while filming Yuri on 
favorite scene? Throughout the entire thing? It's just one episode, it's not that difficult. Oh, then what's your favorite scene? There's so many. Okay. And we're only gonna get judged by it, you know? <laughs> oh, he likes that scene? Hmm. So basic. <laughs> Okay. For me then, favorite funny scene, drunk Yuri. Because <laughs> that was a complete surprise to me. Because while we were recording it, and because who here, you know, who here has not heard of simul dubbing? Simul dubbing, like, okay. Sweet! That's what I want to see. Everybody freaking knows it now. Alright, good. So we're simul dubbing this show. We're working on a lot of stuff that season, so I did not have the time to watch every episode just before we recorded. But the ones that I did, I would watch from the opening until the ending credits roll. And then I would go back to writing a script or watching the next show that I had to watch for research and stuff. So I did not, on that particular episode, I stopped right as the credits rolled and I didn't see all of the stuff that happened. So I went to record the episode and we got to the end, we got to the credits rolling and I was like, oh, awesome, dude, thank you, I'll see you next week. He's like, get back in there. <laughs> You have more to do, and that's how I guess so that was my like. I got to see that whole scene for the first time we were recording it, which I'm actually glad it happened because then it was actually like more of a honest reaction Surprise! and an honest read. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, getting to do like, uh, hey Victor, I got an idea. <laughs> if I win the dance off, I'm the hot sensor would be my coach. You do it once you be my coach. <laughs> That. That's fine. Uh, and he was actually drunk for that scene. <laughs> I mean, once once I think I'm done, it's just. <laughs> but uh, and then the just hard scene, like hardest scene to do, but one of my favorites just overall was the scene in the car crash. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun one. Well, it was not <laughs> not fun. Not fun. Not fun in the normal sense. Yeah, but, but from an act from an acting perspective, it was fun. Yeah, it was it was challenging. For, for him. It was challenging for him. It was fun. You just had to, you just had to break hearts. Yeah. yeah. Jerry the Heartbreaker. Anytime there's dialogue and there's no flaps going on, I'm your guy. <laughs> um, I don't know. Pusetsky has a lot of good, funny moments where he's yelling at you. Know, um, which is very much like can I just Can I just say it's weird? Like, ever since Yuri on Ice, when I'm signing autographs, the most common thing I get asked is, can you call me a loser? <laughs> and it's like, sure, and then I do, and they're like, oh my god, thank you, you made my day. I'm like, I just called you a loser, but sure, it's your own. It's masochism on a grand scale. <laughs> Uh, I think, I, I, re I remembered a favorite line today during autographs, actually. It was a scene where um, Otebek and, uh, and Plasetsky are, are eating together, and then, like, um, the, the ballerina teacher <laughs> and Leah's character, like, shows up, starts crying, decides to eat with them, and they're just, like, crying all over the table. And <laughs> Plasetsky has a line where he goes, Ugh, why do we have to eat together? <laughs> and for some reason, that was really relatable. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, did you pick? Was, do I need to pick? Was the garage scene? Is it important? Oh, yes, that was a great scene. <laughs> That's my favorite one of all of them. Of all of them. <laughs> I don't, look, this character is introduced to everyone by showing up naked. Uh, so. If that's your start off, everything else is just kind of all bets are off. Go with it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I get it. Pick somebody, Jerry. Okay. Uh, there's someone back there. Yes, you. What's your favorite outtake or scene that you couldn't do that has black and hard and just couldn't do it? I'm a complete professional when I'm in here, <laughs> so it's very rare that I make a mistake at all. Um, so mad right These now. guys might have so, a lot of stories to tell you. So bad. 
Uh, you know, it's so it w it was so fast paced when I was actually in there doing it that there there really wasn't a lot of time to stop and reflect on anything. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I didn't see the show other than the scenes I was in, uh, and most of the time I was well a lot of the time I was first in some of those. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't see the show until well after the entire thing was done. Yeah. Um, it was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, but it, it was it was just so fast that there there wasn't that time like we used to have to be able to go. Oh, that one scene. I remember I really had to you know dig deep and uh, we. It's like oh yeah I remember this. There were some beeps. Yeah. And, uh, I'd, there was a paragraph I seem to remember, yeah. and then it was over. And there was an accent. Yeah, and I they mean, told me to get out because someone else was coming in. <laughs> I mean, when we got it, it was one of the nighttime shows, so they only had between, they had four hours a night to record. Mm -hmm. Each episode was just 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it's like, once you're in, it's just, you gotta go. Oh, yeah. You gotta get it done, so yeah. We, just, there were times where my hours were definitely cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you're just like, go, 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 go. Um, the one that stands out to me, though, is like, when Plisetsky's thinking about uh, JJ during his routine, uh, I've never really thought about what it would sound like saying uh, uh, poop head uh, with a Russian accent at the top of my lungs, but you know, you learn some new things on the job, and uh, it was enlightening. <laughs> you grew as a person? Yeah. Philosophies changed? At least like half an inch. He's great. You got him. Uh, uh, ah. Yeah. Throw it. Other place. Yes. If you've seen any of the figure skating um, programs that have been in the last couple seasons, who, what is there one that you would like to see your character do, either in the movie or if there is a season two? And who would it be by? What, like, what is it? What was the... Oh, I'm trying to think of the, of the guy that... Yuzuru Hanyu? <laughs> I mean, Hanyu's a good... Okay, no, it wasn't Yuzuru, but he was freaking amazing. And I mean, I can see Yuri doing that, because... He's based off him. Um, <laughs> but the guy who everyone thought was going to lose because he just bombed his first skate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. then he came back with a freaking vengeance, and that was incredible. Yeah. That was impressive. I would see, I could see either, I could see Plisetsky or Kotsky yeah. on that skate. Absolutely. The awesome thing is, though, it's animation, so they could make it even more amazing. I know. <laughs> they can put tricks in there that humans can't do. There's a Kamehameha in the middle of the room. <laughs> Sexy jutsu after like the third round. What's happening to this show? I don't know. <laughs> Season two is weird. It got so mainstream. <laughs> Pick some. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, you sir, you don't get somebody from this side. So yeah. you said you didn't like Joseph. Do you prefer Jonathan, Jodor? <laughs> that was. Oh, me. Yeah, yeah. I said I, that's right. I said I didn't like Joseph. Who were the others? Jonathan, Jotaro, and Josuke. Why do I recognize those? Oh, is that JoJo? All right, gotcha. I have a love-hate relationship with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So no, I don't like them either. <laughs> I mean, Joe Star is fun. I mean, oh no! I mean, how can you not? It's just charming. <laughs> English is so charming. Good question. Uh, let's go in the back. Uh, yes. Blonde. Yes. Blonde glasses. Which Yuri? <laughs> There's two up here. Yuri, okay. Finally. <laughs> no, literally, I mean, like, my wife and I were, were watching that episode at, like, the night it came out, and we were already seeing, like, Twitter and, and you know, uh, Tumblr and everything every play blow up. So we were like, well, something happened. And so we went or and it. did it. Or did it? You don't see them touch. You don't. <laughs> Friendship rings. <laughs> no, 
mood oh, rings? Right. <laughs> no. It's a pricey mood ring. <laughs> it's one mood. <laughs> it's like a proposal. Okay. Well, really. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, Either a fan with a hand up or a hand with a fan up. What scene did you feel closest to your character that you could relate with? Victor was drunk a couple times in here, so. That, that was totally relatable. You think I'm kidding. <laughs> Completely related. <laughs> and I had a serious answer too. <laughs> 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 so Neither was I. <laughs> Oh, I lost it. Yeah. <laughs> His very first, Yuri's very first scene. I didn't see any. Like, I, I knew instantly. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, just because we were introduced to Yuri after he has failed. And he's, and we're seeing him after he's, he's he, I mean, he's kind of realizing, wow, I messed up. And he's, that's, that's the moment that all the, like, the doubt really hits home. And I don't know, maybe that's when the doubt hits home, or if it's that where he really he starts to think, oh, my doubts were totally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They were justified. Yeah, they were valid. My doubts were valid because I failed. And I mean, uh, I, I think that's one of the reasons, that's one of the things why everybody can relate to right. Katsuki. If, like, I mean, raise a hand. Who here is an artist? Whether that, keep your hands up, whether you draw, write, knit, you have a sport that you're art, you ice skate, whatever, music. like anything, make music, anything. Keep them up. Okay, how many of you have ever felt, why am I even trying? I'm no good at this. What, what's the point? I'm failing. Oh, hey, that's Yuri Kotsky! He's just like, that's his whole thing. So like, yeah, the moment, like moment one, it's just like, oh, I know exactly what this is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's imposter right there, where he's like, he's fully capable, but he does not believe in himself one day. He doesn't love himself either. Mm -hmm. He has no confidence and he has to love himself. And I mean, I think that's another reason why it's so brilliant. Like, he, Victor really is a brilliant character because he immediately knows from his two students what it is they need in order to maximize their skating potential and like their art. Yeah. And like, like you need to be like, Kurt Katsky needs to feel powerful and needs to feel confident. The quickest way to feel confident is to be sexy <laughs> and to know you're sexy. And so he's like, you need to work on your arrows. Go be sexy. And that, peacock. Yeah, just, just be, what? <laughs> yeah, a peacock. Yeah, a peacock, yes. Yeah. Preening, that's not what I thought you said. But yeah, that's that first one. Uh, probably when, <laughs> probably when Plisetsky, uh was just angry. <laughs> that one time, no, uh, like when he, when he yelled, uh, I want food in a mask. Yeah. I can relate. <laughs> Frequently. Yeah. I'm sure you guys can relate too. Yeah. Relatable. Yeah.